Hey Stampers, it's Gainer again. Um, and somebody, I think it was their lovely Deb Wells, uh, Walls, asked me if I could make a waterfall card. I've done these in the past, um, little ones with four blocks, but I wanted to do something a bit bigger. So I went through Pinterest, I went through um, YouTube, had a look at a few videos, quite a few I watched, so I'm not pinpointing this one down to anyone in particular. So thank you to all those I did watch. <laughs> can't remember everyone's names but uh, I've gone and made it a little bit of my own as well so I've taken a bit from here 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 and just piled it all into one so I'm going to show you my card and I've used oh what's it called all my love designer series paper again another valentine one then the next one I'm going to make is going to be for the same but I'm going to send the one I'm making now I'm not going to send this one because this is mine, it's personal, to the lady who asked for it. So, Debs, the one that I'm going to make now today is for you, my darling, so you'll get it in the post. So, I've just stamped on the inside to the best friend a girl could ever ask for and a beautiful frame. And then we've got, I've, I've even loaded every page with a picture from my wedding. So, here goes my beautiful, beautiful husband and me and his mum and dad. His mum and dad are the best. Look at them. Just stunning. So there's, and this has got like six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six pages. And uh, obviously this is stuck down to the back. It's up to you. You could write a message there, but I left this open. So I can write a beautiful message to my husband. He hasn't seen this yet, so oh, I best hide it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how I made it. So... If I can remember. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> oh, these are the bits. These are the pages I'm going to use. Uh, these are cut at 3 and 7 eighths by 4. I'm a designer, so this paper is 3 and 7 eighths by... 3 and 7 eighths, I think. That's why there's a bigger gap at the bottom than there is on the sides. So, I've lined them all. I'm keeping them plain on one side and paper on the other because I don't want to use up too much paper. So this is this is that piece on the reverse. I think that is that one. No, that one is that one on the reverse. Um, that one and these are from different papers. I can't remember which ones. <laughs> this is just for a bit of stability at the back. This is for the mechanism and the pulley system that you're going to need. All that best. I'll tell you the measurements as I'm going. If I can remember. Let me just move my and get my buck ready. Um, da, 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 da. So this piece is four and one eighth by eleven and three quarters, and we're just going to fold and burnish this in half. So this is going to be our side opening waterfall card. And the ones I've done in the past, I've been, you know, on the front of the card, and you just pull down and. Uh, that sort, but at this time I wanted it inside a card. So, there's that. And then this is for the front. This is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And I'm going to turn it this way because I want my little hearts to stand out this time. You can't really see the white hearts on this one that great, but uh, we're going to keep it this right way round. This then is your mechanism, and this is nine and a half by three and seven eighths. This is about eight and a quarter by one. This piece is just to go on the back of my mechanism, just so I can keep my ribbon in place as well. This is three and five eighths by four and a half. I've got some beautiful to put on the decoration on the front, and these were just cut out at the same time as when I did my others. And the two flowers. We're going to cut out the, the love hearts later. I've got a little tab for my ribbon so I can pull the mechanism in and out as well. And it's all about the scoring and the layering of those beautiful cards. And it's the more lines you put in, as long as you've got it so it's central, more or less, the more lines you put in, the more pages you can put in. So we've got six pages for this one. Like I say, I cut my photographs down to three and a half by three and a half, just so I could 
continue to see that beautiful paper as well. So yeah, we've got six of those. And like I say, they are three and seven eighths by four. And the designers there, series paper, sorry, is three and five eighths by three and seven eighths. There we go. <laughs> we'll pop them to one side. I've already laid those up. I'm going to glue this to the front of my card. We're going to do a bit of stamping. We'll do some die cutting. And I best unclog my glue when I first. I don't know why that does that. I think I need to take the nozzle off now and give it a good clean. Because they do clog up a bit. I haven't had to do that yet since I've been using it. Just keep poking that pin back down. But I think I might take it off and give it a good cleaning. Love this paper. Love it, love it, love it. It's perfect for things like this. And if you're going to give it to your partner with some photos in, you can't go wrong than doing it like this and make turning it also into a little album at the same time. It's a great fun interactive card. Love it. While I've got the glue out, I might as well glue these pieces down as well. These come in the framelets. They come with the bundle and the bundle is called Meant to Be. We've used this a few times now. And I'm going to glue that and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to snip that little bit off the end so it's level with my card. Just put a little bit of pressure on there now. This glue dries and it doesn't it dries sticky so that's a really good uh, let me see that's a really good thing. So I'm going to snip that off and then we know we've got the right length. Perfect. And I can glue that down now as well. Just while we got the glue out, this is. And we can stick our roses down after we've done our... Because we need our hearts first. So I can layer them on the hearts. Just so pretty. Now I've got a little tiny smudge there and I can just see it there. And my little Swiffer cloth is the best thing on the planet. Fabulous. There we go. And it's taking all that uh, glitter off, uh, the glue off. We're going to stamp in there later. So I'll put that to one side. I'll just pop this back on. I don't want that clogging up again. And we're going to fetch out our Simply Scored. And you're going to need this piece. Whoops, excuse me. Oh, bashing everything about everywhere. And you're going to pop this in. And you need to... Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Right. We need to start at three and a quarter and then we're going to do every quarter of an inch until we get to four and three quarters so it's three and a quarter three and a half three and three quarters four four and a quarter four and a half and four and three quarters and that's it that's our scoring then Let me put this straight and then we're just going to burnish those, making sure they meet next to each other and that they're not to one side. I'm just going to burnish each one of those. Oops, it doesn't take that long to do. Make it look, see, now I went off there, now that I'm going to have to go back and lay it down, making sure it's together. Because you don't want it so it's not 
touch it otherwise you'll end up with a wonky card <laughs> and that's one thing we don't want make sure they line up only a couple more to go now Once, you, uh, once you've got these on and attached, you need to burnish them really well. There we go. Last one. And again, make sure they come together and burnish nice and neat. There we go, there's our burnishing. Um, and this is the pole side this is where you're going to be attaching your ribbon and so the ribbon is oh, like laying straight making sure they're together so we're going to attach our ribbon on here um, I put too much glue on mine, so I ended a little bit poking out, but I'm going to leave this a little bit longer. So I'm going to grab some tear tape. And I'm just going to add some on this side and some on this side. I'm attaching these now, just to save doing it at the end. Make sure that, give them a good rub. And then we can peel off the backings. Oops, it doesn't want to come off this one. Perseverance, you'll get there. This one definitely doesn't want to come off. I always... Is that coming? Oh, this one's is that being as stubborn. Let me see if I can peel it backwards. This does not want to come off. Oh my word, I do apologise. It came off brilliantly when I did the other one. And now it wants to, oh, there we go. Oof, got one side. So, I'm going to put that roughly in the middle. And then we're going to peel the backing off this side. Oh, it's, it's paying silly beggars again. <laughs> there we go. Right. And that is going to go on there. But first, I'm just going to grab this is for stability. So I'm just using a piece of scrap out of my scraps bin. And I'm going to give that a good gluing down. Because the card is not heavyweight. My white base is, but the crumb cake isn't. And the reason I chose crumb cake is because it matches the designer series paper. So I've just made this a fraction smaller. And now that is glued down and that's going to keep my ribbon into place as well, as well as the glue and the tape. Because that's where you need this stability. So if I hold that now and when I pull it's going to, and I've got a better longer cord than I did have my other one. So again, I'll put that away for a sec. We will be using a little bit more glue in a moment. So, opening this out now. We are going to start to attach these on here. So pick whichever way you want this to go on. And it fits the same width. You're going to want one there. 
one there, but we've got to make sure they're all the same width. So just choosing your pattern, which way round. Whoops, you be careful because there is a slight difference. It's three and seven eighths, which is the width we're putting them on. And we need them all to be perfectly lined. So you're going to choose which way you want your pattern. And then you're going to, we're going to glue them down. And once we glue it down, I can show you that mechanism again. So you're going to apply glue to all of your strips. I'm going to do that in a moment because I'm, I'm going to add tear tape and um, glue. So I'm just going to turn my strips over. And this is like one fifth of an inch. So I know it's the same width as these. So I'm going to add glue and tear tape because I know it's stronger together. Love this Sook Wang tape, it's brilliant. And I'm going to, like I say, I'm going to peel them all off and we're going to use glue as well because the glue will give me wiggle space, whereas the tape won't. So if we do make any uh, boo-boobs, we'll have the wiggle space to put it right before it all sets. And if you're going to put photos in like I have, they will last a long time if you pay attention to all this little detail and it'll last longer, give them a good rub so no air can get in there and the glue itself, don't want to go over that score line, just stay under this side. So there, there's my strips. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we put seven score lines in. Right there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we put seven score lines in for six lots of uh, paper. So I'm going to burnish them right down and make sure they're stuck nice and firmly. I'm going to peel back the strips. And then we're going to add our a strong adhesive love this tape oh love it oh let me just have a swig I've got my lovely uh, green tea and manuka honey mm. so refreshing now out comes the glue again because we want to make sure we get this right so Plenty of glue on. If we don't go over that score line. This will give us the wiggle space that we need whilst we're attaching these beautiful pieces of card. So I'm just going to lift them up straighten that out and I can see my score line and I'm going to attach making sure that is the same distance apart from there so that's where you get the wiggle space from again coming in under that score line. Check them for distance and then press down. Right. Again, check for distance. You'll know when you can see them all lining up beautifully. Whoops, that one slipped a little bit. I 
and then the next one. Check for distance. And once we get the last one, then we're going to give it a really good rubbing down. My arrows, you can have them pointing that way or that way, it's entirely up to you. Just making sure you've got them in and that they all match up beautifully. Give it another rub down. Check your distance. And then onto the last piece, which is going up to the score line. Can you see that? Don't want to go over, you just want to go up to it. Again, check for distance and give that a good rubbing. Oh, mind you, that can go up a little bit. No, that's perfect. It's right on the score line for me. So we're just going to give that a few seconds. I'm going to check over the other side. Everything is flush on the sides. So I'm going to give this another good burnish and then we can open each one out if you get anything on there just wipe it off burnish that's drying beautifully we've got to burnish each one you don't want them coming undone stuck in that as well and truly stuck in there so you have been reinforcing those score lines again but also adhering your glue down nice and beautifully and last but no you don't need to do that one I don't think but you could just burnish that last one as well and we can flick them all back over now and then we can test just going to hold on to that last piece of cardboard so and then when we pull it'll all come open beautiful it doesn't look like it's going to work right this second but trust me it does so with this piece you're going to pop this in right let me just do this now because this is going on here and then this piece is going underneath So you basically need it as close to that that edge as possible about a quarter of an inch down and then you need your flat because we're going to glue that piece onto there onto this bit and then you're going to wrap it round just hand tight so, and then it doesn't matter if it meets, it doesn't matter if it's perfectly bang on, just don't want it too tight. So when we grab that now and pull, I can't, I can't do it, I've got to glue it down. So let's, now we're going to get this piece and we're going to glue along here. I'll show you once it's in the book, trust me, it does all come along. Try not to go in past those creases they're going to be on the side and then we're going to line that up again give it about a quarter of an inch either side that's okay to me and then we're going to fold this over Hold these down. You're going to grab your card at this point. And we're going to just glue that strip. So let me just put a little bit on there. To hold that in place. And then just glue this strip. Don't glue anything else. And don't get none on this card whatsoever. Just this strip.
and then you're going to turn it over, open your card and you're going to put this in up to the crease line and bend in mine, keeping a nice distance either side and then just close your card shut. Give that a good rubbing. Just going to turn this over, rub the back. And it should be attached now. So, so because that one comes up and shows this mechanism, I'm going to glue that onto there. So I'm just gluing this. No, I think I've done it with there. I'm just going to glue this strip. And then when we pull this back, I'm just going to press that down. It's just that so that back page doesn't keep opening up. Because like this one, when we get to the end, see look at my ribbon is too short. It doesn't flip that last one over. It keeps it from showing all that ugly mechanism. <laughs> So I'm going to test this again, I've got a good pulley on this one now, and there we go, it stays flat on there, so you, that's the only bit, you could put some paper on there, I suppose if you wanted to, but I don't see the point, and then you can push this back in. I was thinking of adding a piece of clear window sheet in between the ribbon to give it a bit more strength, but that's okay. There we go. There's a, that's it. Now we can decorate. How's that? It's fabulous. So easy to make. You could do this with as many pages as you want. I think the lowest one I've seen is three. And right the way up to people having 12. You know, it depends on the size of your card, how big you do these. Obviously, we want this to fit inside our card. And this is just a standard size card now. It measures four and a quarter by five and seven eighths, so it's definitely going to fit in a normal size envelope. It's not too hugely bulky. It depends what you add, but I'm just using this. Well, I was I use mine for photographs, so I can give this to my husband on Valentine's Day. He's seen the photos before, but yeah, he's got something he can keep now. So I'm fetching in the beautiful, lovely lipstick. little jingle. I am adding that beautifully detailed love heart right here in the top corner. Oh, it's just so divine. It stamps so beautifully. Perfect. And then I've got the sentiment which says the best friend a girl could ever ask for. And I'm going to keep that mainly in the centre. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to give that a second to dry. And we need to get some scrap. Well, I'm going to use a full piece because yesterday when I was cutting this one out, I didn't have enough space. So, and I need also some more love hearts. So, let me just grab that. This is uh, You Make Me Happy, and I'm going to cut a love heart around this. So, let me get my love hearts out. I need two of those and I used this one but it doesn't cut it just puts stitching around so I'm going to do that to make sure I've got one so if I put one there I'll get another one there and I'll definitely get that little one there so I'll show you what I'm going to do 
this is going inside the centre of that heart. So I'm going to put the heart on there because I fussy cut it out by hand. You make me happy. Perfectly all clear and done now. Clank, click. Um, where's my washi tape? I don't know. It's gone missing. Oh, there it is. So I'm going to lay this on top where I want it. I'm just going to give it a little fussy cut. Uh, put some little washi tape so I don't know. So I know it won't slip. because I want that stitched edge around that like I have on this one but I cut that out by hand and it's so close to the wire there and I don't want to take that chance today so I want to make sure I get it all out and beautiful with our gorgeous roses and then I can cut two of these I only want the framework so I can pass this through the big shop now. And then I can cut one more out as well. So I'll be two seconds. I get left with two lovely little love hearts then, which will go on to a different project. Because the heart shape is in there. If I didn't want the stitched in round that one, it's beautiful. See, these are going to get layered on the front. Uh, if I wanted that little love heart, but oh, I cut up, you know. I want that little stitching. I wonder if it'll fit on there. Yeah, it does perfectly. So I'm going to have another one of those. And I don't mind stamping that again. Perfect. There we go. Yay! <laughs> she says. So one more pass through and that will be done. Find these things out until you have a play. Oops, sticky stuff. So there's the other inner piece I want. got a spare love heart now I can put that in with my oh it's so sticky just get rid of all these bits off my fingers it's not going anywhere that goes off down there bits flying everywhere I'm going to stick it to this bit of ribbon <laughs> I don't know I've chin -wag to myself piece of ribbon. There's my dotted love heart and I don't have to fussy cut it out. Yay! <laughs> I don't know what they're like. So back with the ink. I'm going to pop these back in here and I always keep my spares as well. So that can stay in there. Uh, I 
will save this paper for another day as well. And now I can stamp that beautiful message. You make me happy. In the centre of there. Beautiful, beautiful. There we go, there's our stamp in there. Always make sure they click into place. And now we can build up the front of our beautiful cart. Love it. So I'm going to crisscross over my gorgeous love heart. Like so. So the two hearts are together. We're going to have these beautiful roses down either side. And then this is going, they're going towards the top actually. And then this is going in the centre. So I'm opening that up just so it doesn't keep flicking everywhere. And we can get some gluing done. More gluing. <laughs> Sorry it's taking so long. I'm just going to grab the tip. And again, just dots when it wants to come out. There we go, it's coming. And we can lay our love heart. I know if it dry, it will dry clear and it doesn't dry sticky like, I think Tombow stays sticky but too long. And you can pick up bits that, that way which is what we don't want. We can cross our hearts over. I oh, need them touching like that. Could have been a bit more central. Genius lacking. Now we can add our beautiful, beautiful roses, which are in the foil which comes as a freebie at celebration. And they're just going down the sides of each heart. Look at my I can buff them up, see. Okay, make sure there's no glue on anything. Perfect. This one now, oh my gosh, they're lovely. I should have to get some more adhesive back strips from either stamping or, or sticks because sticks too sells them as well. Uh, roughly about the same distance. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I'm going to pop my love heart with when I can get that in there. On dimensionals. Gosh, they've all come off together. Oops. Beautiful. And then this can just rest here. On there. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I've uh, got, we've got the love hearts and I've already coloured them in. The lovely dipstick. And I've got three. I'm just going to place these on our card. I'm going to have one here. One in here, and I'm going to have one right in here. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm just going to grab a few dimensionals as well, add a bit more bling. So one here, 
one here and one here. Now I'm going to have that one there. So there we have it. There is this beautiful card. I'm going to post this on to you Debs because you asked me to make it for you. I've already got mine sorted so you can fill this with some lovely memories of you and Pete and you can give it to him on Valentine's Day. So there we go. There is your beautiful waterfall card my darling as asked for. I hope you like it. I think it's so adorable. So we've got two. So there we go and they stand up beautifully as well. So a way to go. There we have it. There's my inner waterfall card for Valentine using these beautiful Stampin' Up! products. I hope you like it. I hope you give us a thumbs up. I'd love a share and if you haven't subscribed already I would really appreciate it if you did. Uh, but I do try and post every single day. Uh, so come and see what we make tomorrow. Uh, I can guarantee you're going to have some fun. And uh, also come and join in for the premieres. We love the premieres. So, till next time. Love you all. Bye.